you closer than the all They are light, oh, but you're greater than the all We are walking in the light, it's walking in the light, yes, actually give people marriage advice yeah. or something but most of the marriage um, advice that I give people is what God taught me mm -hmm. through my family and through seeing other people's marriages and through the process of praying and so um, I saw my family being broken you yeah. know a, a Christian and I saw that Christian families also break mm -hmm. you know and that is what made me pray even harder because I knew if the devil can attack you know Christian marriages to this extent mm -hmm. then who am I to stand alone in this in mm -hmm. this issue so I was like if God is not here, I'm not in. So I would pray and pray. And the things that I saw happening in, 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 in my family setting, I was like, God, I don't want this. Mm -hmm. I don't want this. I want something new. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to continue yeah, with this, this process that the enemy is now, is now putting in this love. It was a heartbreaking moment because, you know, in Germany, and then you hear all of a sudden, you know, things are tearing apart yeah. at home. I would cry on the streets, you know. Mm -hmm. I would walk and cry and pray and pray and say, God, I prayed for three oh. years. I don't know for how you, things are not happening, you know. It's every time I call back home, it's just worse, the you know. Yeah. I, I was getting depressed, mm. stressed, mm. and the worst, the worst of it is like thinking about your siblings who mm -hmm. are still young, mm -hmm. who are seeing the marriage, you know, breaking up. And I ask myself, God, what is going to be become to become out of them? You know, what is, what, what, what is the devil doing? Like you. You know because once the devil gets into a marriage mm -hmm. even the people who are innocent are going to be affected yeah, and true. if it was affecting me here in Germany without being in that so Im I imagine my small brother being in that situation mm -hmm. you know watching things unfold each and every day what kind of man is he going to be you know my sister what kind of a lady a woman is she going to be in future and that would tear me about you know that was just make my world crumble you know mm -hmm. And I told God, if, if this is the kind of, and I will see the mistakes that were in that relationship, the things that were happening, and I will tell God, I don't want this kind of monster. Give me another one, you know? And so that is why I, I talk about marriage and I tell people, this is, this is one, one thing in life that you need to pray like your world is coming to an end. Wow. That like, like it's, you know, I prayed like the world was coming to an end. I fasted oh, like, really? you know, the world was coming. Like this was the only thing because I knew once mm. you get married, it's, it's for a lifetime. Um, and you get yourself in there and you don't know what you're going to get. Mm. And it, in case you get with someone who is the opposite of God's, you know, plan for you that's that's your that's it. that's that's it for your you you know that's it you yeah. know it's so yeah. um we've talked about marriage mm -hmm. um you know nowadays people don't want to wait mm -hmm. what can you tell them like they feel like waiting is outdated and mm -hmm. they have like multiple relationships mm -hmm. um no more self-control what can you tell them Waiting is, is also a gift from God. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you ask for it because it's, it's, it's a hard time, but it's precious because it's going to, everything that you're going through, God is going to turn them into something good. So that period of waiting is not a wasted time. That is what I can tell you. Mm -hmm. That is a period where you get to develop yourself, you develop your character. God is teaching you mm -hmm. a lot of things and it's not a wasted time. So. Uh, be patient and be humble to wait. I know it's not easy. Personally, yeah. I'm not a um, I'm not a patient person, you know. But God taught me through this uh, through this process that you need to be patient in life. You need to wait. Yeah. There's some things you just can't get them on a silver platter here, you know. As a husband for you, you know, and it's so beautiful how you know how people use the institution that God made, you know, so beautifully and misuse it. Now I just want my papers in Germany. Let me marry, yeah, really. you know. Yeah. I just want to do this. Let me marry so that we can, you know, we can work on our taxes and things are getting easier mm -hmm. on, on stuff. They're taking an institution that God made to be so beautiful and use it, you know, for their own, own reasons. And this is the most painful part because marriages are the most attacked, you know, 
in on this earth and the devil knows that when he attacks marriages he comes to the root to you no know, to destroy the the whole society yeah. because when you attack a marriage you you are destroying the society in it how many kids are we do we know nowadays that are coming from broken marriages do you yeah, see how yeah, they yeah. end up ma yeah. many of them many of their lives don't you know don't go like Our straight direction. according to yeah. you know the way god channeled their way to be but many of them you know get discouraged in life get depressed get into the same you cycle. know monster mm -hmm. cycle so that things are not working out and it's it's depressing to mm -hmm. see what is happening in this world today so i think waiting is is very important mm -hmm. because If you had if God had you to wait for just one year or two years or three years for you to get a, a beautiful life would you trade it for not waiting and have your life messed up no some even end up killing themselves because they yeah. get into wrong uh, wrong relationships, relationships true you know? so um mm. you have i mean have you ever been to a situation where you feel okay i've come to the end of me and mm. how did you overcome it I think I've come to that situation many times, you know, when I was studying, you know, things were so tough. Sometimes you go, you know, you're working so hard, also you're going to class and you're trying to, you know, you're trying to fit into the German system, it's not working so well. And also there's there's discrimination in 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 the universities and schools that we go to, you know. I I remember in class like when you're doing a group work or something people would you would see foreigners being in mostly one group the germans you know they isolate themselves <laughs> you know and mm -hmm. so you'd really wish to belong but you don't belong and so you would get frustrated you would get frustrated those are the points where i get back home i cry myself to yeah. to sleep i cry and cry and i say is it worth it but still you wake up in the morning you know the strength that the lord gives you the hope that that god gives you is what kept me God kept me moving, you know. And sometimes when I realize I couldn't take it anymore, I would just listen to when I can't pray, I can't do anything. I would call on friends and tell them pray for me. And I would also, you know, just listen to music that mm. would, you know, calm me down, that would give me hope because most of the Uh, most of the people when they're in such kind of a situation they run to alcohol they run to you know um um sex they run yeah, to things true. that you know they will give them pleasure but just temporary you know but if you run to god that is that is the best place to be so i used yeah, to run to true. god mm -hmm. and i pray and um i just wait patiently and things so you see god changing things one after the other so the process of trying to establish yourself in germany is not easy mm. so many people are depressed on this way there were so many ways that i would just so many days i locked myself in a room and i was just there inside there mm. you know sleeping crying you know like depression to it you know people don't like talking about depression yeah, but so many people are depressed mm -hmm. you know you lock yourself in there and start to cry and i just want a dark dark room i can sleep and cry and you know but then when i started um knowing my walk with god that god is there with me and walking with him so i started doing the opposite when i'm stressed out i switch to praise wow. and worship you know yeah. i pray uh, i switch to prayer or when i can't i call people please pray for me but i text people all over pray, please pray for me before i know it you know i'm okay, okay. Wow. the prayers of others amen. you yeah. know will also help amen. you through your hard times amen yeah. Amen. Mm. So, um before uh, we come to the end of this, mm. we, I have two more questions. Yeah, um I see that um you're calling women out like to um speak about, you know, um making like let me say living in Germany in a like a, mm. a straightforward way. Mm. Yeah. what like what's what drove you to that so what drove me to that is when i started my my ministry i started a new ministry port mm. ministries where i share testimonies my own personal experiences um and i call people to share their testimonies with me so that i can get 
to bless the world with their testimonies and so i was like where can i get young people you know and i thought young people you have to go with the trend mm -hmm. right now they're on tiktok you know? so yeah. i learned how to get on tiktok and start giving information on tiktok and that is what i did but when i got into tiktok i realized there are a lot of videos you know advising women how to get you know white men and how mm. to stay in germany with false ways you know mm. and someone will be so confident in front of a camera and telling you how to get your mzungu mm. and how to behave when that mzungu arrives <laughs> and how to uh, uh, get your visa mm. and the whole of marriage things to a mzungu will be created something so huge yeah. that people will be like if you're married to a mzungu this is this is something big yeah. it's not something it's big true. you know it's not something yeah. big marry to you know a mzungu or, or something marry if you marry out of love then it's good but mm. if you're marrying because you know there's a hype to marry to white men then there's something wrong there because you know the mentality that we have when we back at home that you know white people are superior white people are you know they 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 are you know clever they everything white white mm. white superiority mm. and then i come here and with my old struggles and in the university i realized these people also fail exams <laughs> and i'm like wait a minute <laughs> Yeah, so these so superior the, people can also just, fail you know yeah. and i'm like no god it's not like i'm laughing but it's just made like a click yeah like these are just human beings mm. like us you know yeah. it's just like why do we put them above us and why do we put ourselves down yeah. so that married to marriage to you know a white person is being like you know exploded and blown sure. out of, of of proportion you know and i was yeah. like no there are better things to life than getting married to a white you know That's what true. about getting your degree what about you know getting yourself a better life let mm. that person find you complete and whole mm. you know because the bible says also that the women will be like helpers who would mm -hmm. support them it doesn't say sorry it doesn't say that we come and get supported you yeah. know we get you, you know all the help is the man who is providing right. and yeah. what are you bringing on the table to so ask yourself that and for me i was like no mm. the professionals have to get out there yeah. and talk to people give people real advice mm. tell people how to study in germany tell people how to get an ausbildung in mm. germany tell people how to give them advice things that will help them to survive in this country mm. rather than telling people how they can get husbands you know how they yeah, can yeah. tell people your raw testimony mm -hmm. because you you you're not helping people if you're not telling the truth mm -hmm. testimony the way it is and that way you bless a lot of people you know mm -hmm. you bless a lot of people with your raw testimony when they know okay i want to study they know it's it's possible it might not be easy but there are people who've made it so with god i can make it also you know amen mm -hmm. so um porch ministry because that was mm -hmm. among the that was the second last question i wanted to ask you mm -hmm. yeah what does port ministry mean port ministry port means power uh, p means power mm -hmm. o means of and then t of testimony power of testimony i believe in testimonies and god gave me this idea of port port ministries when i was at work and then i had an appointment with this young guy you know who wanted to acquire what are we doing you know um uh, in our project uh, how we're helping young people and i thought actually he was coming to know about the project so he comes in the office and he asked me so um what, what is you know what is this project and how does it help us and all that and i started explaining but before i go further he said uh, excuse me can i ha ask you something not related to the work you know environment here and he started asking me personal questions like are you married you know mm -hmm. how did you meet your husband did you do a wedding how was it and all that you know i wish to have like a family myself mm -hmm. and i wish to have a lot of money and uh, be someone influential and normally i don't share my private life you know at work but i just listened to to him looking for for this information and i opened up mm -hmm. i told him how i met my husband i told him how we got married i told him the most important things in germany and before i knew it his eyes were getting wide and huge and he was on my table you yeah. know listening <laughs> 
listening yeah. and I would just pour out, pour and encourage, you know, pour out my testimony and encourage. And at the end of it, that guy was like, oh, wow, thank you so, thank you so, so much that you, you, you didn't have to answer all these questions, but mm. you did. Uh, you don't know what that means to me, what, what mm. that did to me. Thank mm. you so much. I think I came here to hear this mm. and not about the project. Thank you so oh. much. And he went. I told him, this is not for you. This, mm. this here, you can be someone, you know, someone better in life. There are wow. opportunities out there and go for it. Believe in yourself. And yeah. I talked to him for hours until my colleagues were like, what are they talking about? This meeting is taking yeah. so long, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know. But at the end of it all, I went for a lunch break and I was so fulfilled. I was like, wow. Mm. I shared my experiences raw the way there. And that guy was so blessed. And I was like, this is it. People need to share their testimony. Yeah, like sure. there's no way we just be, you know, gathering, you know, experiences and then we just go on our lives. You need to share. Mm. Because I realized at that moment that testimonies preaches even more than you would open a Bible and start explaining to someone what the Bible says. Mm. And so I came home super excited. Mm. I told my, my husband, you don't want to know what I experienced today. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and I was pouring the idea, one idea to the other. And I want to do this port ministry like this. Mm. And I want to encourage people. And I, and I was, you know, the ideas were coming and yeah. I was writing them down. I was so mm. excited about this port, <laughs> port ministries. And I was like, power of testimony, port ministry. There's power in sharing your testimony. And... I just started, you know, taking a video with my phone and then posting it on, on TikTok, you know. Mm -hmm. So when you go to TikTok, you look to, uh, you look at my profile, Marina Peters, mm -hmm. or you just type uh, Port Ministries, you you get the things that I do on TikTok, you know. Mm -hmm. And you, I see the people, you know, viewing, commenting, and I'm like, God, it's mm -hmm. it's blessing someone blessing out there, you know, it's yeah, blessing yeah. someone out mm -hmm. there. And so I encourage people, professionals, come out, let's share our experiences, mm -hmm. you know, what we went through. To Tell people the mistakes that you did so that they don't make the same the mistakes, same. you know, true. because That's we need to be important. generous also with this. Mm -hmm. You need to give out information exactly. for people to succeed because yeah. when, when we succeed, then, mm -hmm. you know, we are all happy. Don't hide information. Let's come share, true. share yeah. the information so that people can be successful. And in that mm -hmm. way, mm -hmm. we will dominate the market, you know, yeah. of, and overpower the Maria person, come mm -hmm. to Germany, stay here, illegal ways. No, they, you can go go your straight way it's hard mm -hmm. but it's 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 uh, doable Do you know with god all things are possible amen. yeah amen mm -hmm. so um i'd love you to like look at the camera <laughs> yeah and give us your favorite bible verse and your parting shots oh two in one yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, two in one so my favorite bible verse is mm -hmm. romans chapter 8 Verse 28, all things work out for good for those who love the Lord, for those who are called according to his purpose. God loves you and everything that you're going through, he's going to turn it to something good. I've experienced this in my life and I know you are going to experience this in your life too. Everything bad you're, it, that is happening to you right now, you are almost giving hope. You think I can't do it anymore in Germany. Know that you're not alone because God is with you and God is capable of turning that thing that you're going through right now into something good because that is one of his promises. And this Bible verse, Romans chapter 8 verse 28, I carry it like, like this in my hands every day everything that happens to me i remind myself that it says all things work out for good for those who love the lord amen yeah amen amen so my parting shot today let god be the foundation of everything that you're doing in life everything everything in this life and you'll be successful. You'll be able to share your testimony where people will be telling you, oh, I can't believe that. But it's your testimony because you know yourself where God has taken you. So don't be afraid to share your testimonies. Don't be afraid to put God as a foundation of everything because he will never disappoint you. God bless you. Amen. Yeah. So viewers, that was Marina Peters. I hope you loved her testimony because I was very encouraged. Amen. And uh, what I learned, I mean, is do not compromise. Yeah, you don't have to compromise. And then God being at the center. As long as you put God at the center, he'll always be there for you. 
Thank you for your time. Welcome. I really appreciate it. I know you're mm. a busy person and setting out this time to um, come for the interview means that you really have that heart for God and heart mm. for people mm. and also taking your time out of your Sabbath. Mm. I'm really, really humbled and thank you to your husband too. Mm. And God bless you both. <laughs> thank you. Amen. Amen. Okay. And don't forget, please check her details on yeah. TikTok. We'll leave all the links here. Bye. Bye. God bless you. Walking in the light with the Lord on my side. I don't fear no evil with the Lord on my side. You're the fountain of life in you. We see light in your light. We have hope in your light. My life shines. Death cannot defeat us. Depression cannot hold us. Greater is the light. No evil shall prevail.